Hi, Hi sisters. sisters! James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, as you can see, I'm joined by an absolutely iconic special guest today, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race UK season three, Crystal Versace! Hi! Oh my god! Get crystallized at Christmas time. All these other girls better get in line. It's Crystal with a K, go straight to the V. It's time to party with Miss Versace. I'm so excited for this! Oh. Welcome to my channel. You are a icon, a living, a I almost said a living a legend, an icon living legend. Thank you. I, I mean, you guys know I'm obsessed with drag race. I've done several drag transformations here on the YouTube channel beforehand, and I've never had a transformation quite like this. You are by far one of my favorite queens to ever be on the show. Oh my God. I, I have to be honest. I really? really? Yes, I really do. As RuPaul said, which we'll get into, you are born to do drag. She was. <laughs> She's here. I mean, She's the here. makeup, the hair, the looks, everything about you is just Thank so you. prim and polished. You're only 20 years old, right? Yes, only 20 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was 19 when we were filming. Insane. Yeah. And today, Crystal is going to be transforming me into what? What's my name going to be? Babe. I mean, we'll figure the name, but you are yeah. about to be crystallized oh, fully. It's not even Christmas time. Like she's <laughs> about to be fully crystallized. Oh my god! Well, if you guys want to see Crystal Versace transform me into the biggest drag diva the world did ever see, keep on watching. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this transformation. My brows are obviously already, well, I shouldn't even say obviously, because I think that looks crazy, but everyone else is like, mm, they look normal. No, they look pretty normal, but they're, <laughs> they're snatched back. She's ready to get the slap My brows are so big. <laughs> They're already glued down. That's obviously a big step in drag routines. And now Crystal is going to tape my face, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna tape you up so that so afterwards when everything's done, we're gonna pull the strings and you're just gonna be like. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, Excited. I call this scaffolding. I don't know what that is in the US. <laughs> a scaffolding is like when you're building a building. Yeah, yeah, this is the support system. Perfect, I love that. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. And while we're doing this, one thing that I always love to do whenever I have new guests on the channel, obviously I know all about you and been following your career, but for anybody who might not be familiar with either you or just drag in general, give the sisters just a like a super quick, like 30 second rundown of you and your story. Um, So I am the youngest winner of Drag Race. I won season three of Drag Race UK. If you haven't seen, then go and have a watch so you get to know more about me. And yeah, I started drag about three years ago now, but this is like the beginning, you know? When I won the show, like it was a cute moment. And now I'm like ready to be like, okay, right, what's next, you know? That's so cool. I have all my Red Bull. Ooh. Look at this tight. Oh, is she a tiny one? Oh. Ah! She's gonna be extra snatched. If it's really tight, it might give you a headache. It's a little tight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't realize I had like a tiny one. Are they all small? <laughs> and she's gonna be like. Oh. We'll do one. Okay. Let's start beginners. I don't wanna do too much to you. Oh, I'm, no, I would... I, I'm ready. Go for it, do another one. Are you sure? Yeah, girl. Okay, right. Ah, we're doing the most. You're gonna be so snatched. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's get the slap on. Yes, I'm ready. Do they call it slap? No one calls it slap there. No. I'm just yeah. going along with it because it's fun. Yeah. It's fun to hear your accent. You're 20 now, so you've only been doing drag for three years. Yes. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah. wild to yeah, think yeah. about. I really want to know, okay, so when we were planning this collaboration, you were like, take a look at my Instagram. We need some inspiration for looks and for dresses and hair and stuff like that. So I did a little scroll. Ooh. It didn't take me very long to get down to the bottom because you started recently. Yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like to go, to get to this yeah, yeah, yeah. from where you started, first of all, would be so beyond impressive. But I would expect like that level of improvement to happen over the course of like maybe five, 10 years of doing drag. Thing is, I, I have such an eye for detail. Yeah. Um, and such an eye for um, how to improve. Like every time I do something like a week later, I usually hate it. But yeah, that's, that's me with like everything. I think that's why like I was good on the show as well, because it was kind of like obvious how much I took on criticism and improved yeah. because I just had an eye for it. Yeah. Like Rue used to call me laser eyes. When he was talking to me in the workroom, he was like, oh, laser eyes is at it again. Yeah. There must be like, cause I really feel like I have that quality too. Yeah, and yeah. Not only just with makeup, but like I've noticed that even like what I'm watching and to be fair, this is just like, I feel like every, gay that watches the show probably says this, but like, I always watch the acting challenges at home, for example. Whenever I watch those things, I'm always like, oh, I could do that. Yeah, yeah, But I feel like it really is about just paying attention to the critiques and what they're asking for and like the tone of the challenge and stuff like that. Yeah, I will say like, it's very easy to like watch the show and be like, oh, like why, why isn't this happening? Why isn't this happening? It's 100%. like, when you're there, sometimes you actually just fully go blank because it's- Well, it's a pressure cooker. Yeah, like they, they really turn up the heat. You kind of just sometimes lose yourself. Cause I remember when I was doing the acting challenge, like the she three P hobo. I was like, that one was crazy. Losing it because I was doing, I, you know, I was working so hard in my head. Is this your first YouTube collab? Yeah. 
Oh, I love that. This is my first time on YouTube since like, I used to do like Minecraft videos. No, you play Minecraft? I mean, I don't anymore, but like I oh. used to. But I, I am a gamer, like, I, I oh kind of love God. the games. Yeah. I still play Minecraft every day. Really? Yes. Oh, I wish I could. I'm so into it. I, I played it as a kid and then I stopped for a while then I just got back into it um, within the past like, couple of years. Oh, I'm you kind of need that escape as well. Yes. So how did you like start learning how to do makeup? Um, oh my God, I'm in this moment where they say you. You know, like, no. When, no, it is very that though. You were like one of the first people I watched, like ever. Cause what? you were like, you were like a boy in makeup. Um, and it was like, nothing that everyone have ever saw before, you know? Yeah. And it was like full glam. Like no one ever was doing that. It was the first for a lot. So I remember being like, oh, okay, right. I can do this. I love that. Yeah, that's, I started wearing makeup, yeah, I started wearing makeup as a boy. Like that's, you know, yeah. where I started. And you were like, the boy in makeup that I everyone would, was that's like, that's crazy. I could do it too. So it makes me feel literally, despite the fact that we were only two years apart, that makes me feel so old. <laughs> no, oh my God. <laughs> So you're here in LA for DragCon. Yes. This is your first time ever in LA, which yeah. is so exciting. Is there anybody that you're really looking forward to meet um, um, this weekend? Um, I'm kind of excited to meet, I feel like, like Trixie, you know? She's the best. Have you like, never met her before? No, okay. I haven't. I feel like I'm also just really admire her business. She's truly you know? incredible. We were texting back and forth yesterday about Trixie Motel launching soon, coming to Discovery Plus, everybody. On June 4th, that. I believe. <laughs> Just getting to know her on a personal level too. She is so nice, always is so, like she's so responsive, is so good about her business, her brand, her like products. Mm. Just everything she's doing, I'm like, how are you doing all that? I, I get really inspired by it because I'm very like, only recently fell in love with the business side of it. Mm -hmm. um, to think business savvy, you have to really find another way around things and not see the obvious and be like, right, you know, and I'm still learning that a lot. Like this whole journey of me from Drag Race has like really like shaken me and been like, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a lot more to think about than oh, just yeah. the basics of like doing a gig, turning up. It's yeah. like, there's so much more to there's think about now. And it is scary, but at the same time, I'm like, you know what? Everything good and bad that happens is all just a learning, a learning experience, you yeah. know? So I can just appreciate it like that. Can you do your best impressions of each other's accents? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm so bad at ah, I love accents. British people when they, when they have American accents. I feel like Americans are quite loud. <gasps> like everything's more heightened. No, just that one. <laughs> just this one. Excuse me. Also, people are really like complimentary. Mm -hmm. People like just walk by and like, oh my God, you look cool. Like I love your pants. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, yeah, God. like I got a lot of that, and I was like, I love, so I love giving people compliments. I think it's so fun. Yeah, but like in, it's free in, in and London, so easy. we sort of don't act like anyone. No, oh, oh my God, everyone's love. I think it's so nice to give people compliments. Yeah, I'm not. Brilliant. I'm literally not being. I'm being dead serious. I think it's so nice to give people compliments. It takes one second. It's completely free, and it'll make someone smile. You never know what someone's going through during their day, and that could literally brighten it up. It is sweet. It's just like not. I don't think a culture in in England. Like people, people uh, give you compliments, but not down the street. Like. Hardly ever. But I literally have been like in joggers and people are like, oh my god, your pants. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm kind of obsessed. Oh my god. What's your like British accent? Like this oh god. Oh. I'm Christopher Saatchi. <laughs> I'm Christopher Saatchi. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, you guys. So the base is finally all done. We are contoured, chiseled, bronze. This is looking so crazy and so good so far. I'm obsessed. We're not gonna get started on our eyeshadow look for today. Yeah, we're gonna snatch you back, give you a good pop of color. Crystal's dress today is obviously like blue and little highlights of pink. We have a matching yeah. dress for me to wear that's in a slightly different color scheme. Um, so we're gonna do a pink and orangey type of look today. Yeah, you're kind of like, um, the good side, but I'm kind of the bad side. Oh, you're gorgeous. Keep, keep, keep doing what you're doing, babes. Let's just say the devil made me do it. Okay, so Krista, one thing that I want to ask about while we are getting these colors on here. Mm -hmm. So obviously you just won yeah. UK season three, and there was a lovely announcement in the Drag Race fandom recently that everyone has been shaken up about, about Miss All-Star 7, the all winner season. Oh God, yeah. This season's already coming up, but if you were asked to come back for potentially an All-Stars or an All-Winners season mm -hmm. two, would you go? I I don't think I'd go back, if I'm honest. I think, really? you know, yeah. I think I've been speaking to people and just having a think and it's like, I won the show. Like if I go back, that's being put up for debate. And it's like, I'd rather just like be like, look, I took it, I won it, that's it, done. Yeah. Like you're never gonna like change that yep. ever. Because as soon as you go back, that could be changed. Yeah. You know, it could really like, you could 
be run, really done dirty. Yeah. You know, it's kind of scary. I understand. It's very, it is very, like, it's a risky thing. Yeah. And I think, like, I think, like, Bianca said, she said the same thing. She's like, why would I go back? I already won it once. I don't need yeah. to do it again. It's very that. To me, it's just another step of my career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was another, like, it was just it's a, like a pinnacle a, point. A plat like, a platform to jump off of. Yeah, exactly, you know? And it was just like, right, this is the start. Now on to the next. Like, I'd rather be on a runway. Yeah. Then do a TV show. Definitely. Like, and always. Interesting. Yeah. I think that, yeah, I don't know if I, I mean, my opinion means nothing considering I've never competed in also I've never <laughs> won. But if I, for some reason, in an alternate universe was in that position, I don't know what I would do. Wait, okay. <sighs> that is maybe, that is the no. dumbest thing. I don't, I don't, yeah. None of this is in, Ryan. <laughs> no, this could be in. About winning the money on BBC. Okay. Uh, yeah. Like, so there's, it's a law in the UK that you can't win money on TV shows, huh? Um, it's only the BBC because of, um, like, advertisement and stuff. Why don't they just, but is the BBC the biggest network in over It's there? one of them. We have ITV as well, and that has money. So why don't they just switch to ITV? No, that's the thing. If I were you, I'd be, like, DMing Rue after being like, hey, girl. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, sort this out. Give me the check on the DL. Yeah. Like, what's, go what's good? Oh, like, Mama, send me the Venmo. Or a yeah. bank transfer, like a little Zell moment. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, it, we've just never known anything different, you know? Like, these <sighs> girls on All Stars getting, like, 10 grand or a win is like, whoa. Yeah. Every time that Satchi comes around, I think about who I would play, and I genuinely have no idea. I am not good at an impression. No, I don't. Especially when you're like put on the spot, it was gross. It's so hard. You did charity shop Sue, right? Yeah. yeah. I, you know what it's funny too, is I've had so many queens tell me that they've auditioned with me for Snatch Game. Oh my God, I bet. Well, what's her name done you for Snatch Game? Jamie Jk just yeah, did yeah, it yeah. for UK vs. The World. Hi, sister. Oh. You are quite a personality though, and you have obviously the look. Yeah, I would. I think that I could be an interesting character for Snatch Game. Jamie and I were DMing back and forth, I was so excited, and she was like, hmm, maybe don't watch the episode. Uh, but she, she was so sweet about it. She's like, I, she was very nice. So she's like, yeah. I remember Michelle was like, Jamie Charles just isn't funny. That was, yeah. Oh my gosh. You chose to play James Charles. That's a tough one. It's really difficult when you choose characters that aren't really funny. My drag, right? Yes, Michelle was like, yeah, it's just really hard to make James Charles funny. I was like, Okay, still love her. Baloney! <laughs> Baloney, bitch! That was. <laughs> oh, fing <laughs> bitch. Okay, so while we're sitting in the concrete in place, I have actually a really fun question for you. Go on. When you were on the show, mm -hmm. did you watch any of like the YouTube review channels about your episodes? Uh, yeah. Did, yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I did a lot. Yes. Okay. Because I, I, if I were on the show, I would do the same exact thing. What did you think about that? Um, I mean, a lot of them were fine because you know you go like, oh, like don't look at it, don't look at it, and yeah. when you do, and then you get annoyed with it, and you're like, oh yeah, that's why you don't look at it because you, yeah, you feel a type of way. I actually, I really enjoy watching the review channels. Me and Anthony both watch them all the time. They are fun. I really, I love Bussy, Bussy Queen. I'm subscribed. She's a, oh yeah. She's so she's really good. She puts so much it, work into her content. We also watch Mira Mangle, right, Anthony? All right, you guys, so we have some details on the eyes. The crease is all cut, shadows all on, looking gorgeous. And already, it's already looking so snapped even without the tape. So what's next? Um, so I'm just gonna put some eyeliner on and just like, you know, give you a nice like wingish moment. Okay. And then it sort of just allows space to put on the lash. Yeah. Uh, like any angle you want. Okay. Um, so we're just gonna pop her on. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna pull you back. <gasps> oh. Yeah, you can see it's like. Oh yeah. Do you feel that? Oh that my high, no, it feel, nope. Okay, it's fine. Good. I'm not complaining. Yeah, that's the KV. That's the stamp. Um, should we get you oh. just put some mascara on? I can barely open my eyes. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, my face is wow. so tight right now, it's not even funny. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So we're gluing on the lashes right now. We are. Where are the lashes from? Um, they're a brand, I think they're only in the UK and they're called Eldora. I love Eldora lashes, oh my God. Oh, do they have them here? No, oh, but okay. I, or <laughs> uh. I, I smuggle them in. <laughs> yeah. Good lash. Oh yeah. Eyes are officially done. Oh, I feel like I got a full on face left, like my <laughs> Oh yeah, it's. <laughs> This is wild. Yeah, after the night out, I get blisters on my face. Cause it's like, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, I get blisters. Like you can see the mark of where the tape has been, like the circular part. Did I, did we talk about the RuPaul saying you're born to do drag comment? No, we haven't. We didn't even say that. Oh my God, bad timing to get back into the subject, but it is what it is. I have to ask about this. Sure. When you were on your season, Ru literally turned to you and said, you're born to do drag. You, Crystal Versace, were born to be 
a drag queen. <laughs> wow. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. It was crazy. You know what? It was actually the episode of Snatch Game. It was that oh, episode. Oh, was it? And I generally was like, I'm going home. Like, I did bad. Like, I'm, I'm off. And then that episode, I was like, right, she, he was, she was about to call, like, talk to me. And I yeah. was like, oh, here we go. Like, I know I'm in the bottom. I'm known. And then she's like, Christopher Saatchi, you were born to do drag. And I was like, bitch. Like, I can't even think of a compliment better than that. I kind of felt like at times I was like blending into the background and I was just at peace with it. Cause I was like, you know, I'm just focusing on myself. I'm in my own lane. And then when she was like, that, I was like, oh wait, whoa. Like, That's she's, she's like seeing exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Whoa. It's that so is tiny. Tiny. Mm. Okay, should we do the lips? Yeah, let's do the lips. And call it a day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's nearly there. So while you're lighting my lips, I can't talk. Everyone's favorite time. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to ask you now that we've gotten yeah. to know each other, what is next for KV? What's coming up? What are you working on? What does the future look like? I'm coming up with um, a one woman show and it's um, basically just like this show that I'm putting on um, like full production. I'm having control over like the music, um, really visual like a really sick show. Come out with maybe some products in the future, like something people haven't really seen or like got to. Music maybe, and just loads of sick shows. Like yeah. that's where I love, that's where, I'm, you know, I come alive is on stage, so. Um, All right, well we're, at this point, I think we're pretty much done, right? I think we are, yeah, we're done. <gasps> we need a little spritz of setting spray. Yeah, yeah, look at the We'll throw on the wig. This is the face all complete, but there's still a lot left of this drag transformation, as you guys can see. So, Chris and I are gonna go ahead and cut right here, and we'll be right back with the final transformation. What to say? I'm just looking at myself in the monitor. Oh, it's this cool. is this is literally what you order online versus what it arrives. No! Bitch. <laughs> you guys, I'm officially brought up crystallized by the one and only Crystal Versace. Thank you so much for this oh transformation today. Oh my god, you, you guys. So look gorgeous. at this final result. I mean, I'm very oh, obsessed. I'm wearing a breastplate for the first time ever. I have to literally cover up the nipples. Excuse yeah. me. She's got oh a tip god. On. Oh. <laughs> What's our name? We didn't even talk about that. Oh What's my god. Drag name? You're um, Crystal Versace. <laughs> I'm like Donatella. <laughs> 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 oh, excuse me. <laughs> Poor Donna no, I, I don't know. What's like a, a jewel? Like, what's she giving? Whatever. We don't know. So why don't you guys leave us a comment down below letting me know what my drag name in the Versace family should be. Thank you for transforming me. Girl, oh, I, I live. Like, look at this. If it's going to be on anyone, it has to be on the Miss J. <sighs> the JC. Oh. The JC in the KV. The KV. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, if you enjoyed today's video, please, please, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. Your love and support really helps us out quite a lot here on the channel. Also, as well, make sure you click that big red subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so you guys never miss an upload from me. If you want to follow me on my other social media platforms, they're all just James Charles. It's going to be linked right here on the screen. And where can they find you if they want to follow? Um, at Crystal Versace on Instagram, Crystal with a K, and yeah. We go straight to the V. Yeah, <laughs> we do. Make sure you guys also check out Crystal's One Woman Show if you're in the UK. All right, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. We love you, and we will see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.